Hi guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on Carol O'Connor, who played Archie Bunker, and how he was far from Archie Bunker, was far from Archie Bunker, despite what people thought. Uh, he was nothing like Archie, was what I meant to say. So, uh, let's take a look. Turns out that if you're a great enough actor, there's always a chance that you could play a role a little bit too well. Always the risk of being typecast, but sometimes, uh, sometimes worse than that, fans might assume that you're more like the character you're playing than you originally let on. Now, while Carol O'Connor played many significant roles, he may have forever be known to audience as Archie Bunker and all in the family. Uh, O'Connor was well aware of the association that viewers had of him and his character. In an interview with the Middlesboro Daily News, O'Connor remarked, Everybody wants to know if I'm like Archie Bunker in real life. The article acknowledged, while Archie Bunker is certainly different from Carol O'Connor, his portrayal of the Bunker patriarch was grounded in realism. As O'Connor had based the character on people he had seen as a child living in the Bronx and Queens in New York City. Uh, while O'Connor uh, maintained that he and Archie were entirely different, he did understand that it didn't necessarily seem that way to the public. He mused, uh, maybe the relationship is too close. Public is beginning to forget Carol O'Connor and think only of Archie Bunker. He also recounted people call out to me on the street, Hey Archie, and I'm mad at CBS. They ran a big ad for my show with my picture, but not my name. In an interview with the Evening Sun, O'Connor was able to go into detail about his feelings for the character. He said, Sure, I'd like him if I met him, though he added, I feel sorry for him. O'Connor explained he's a victim of his upbringing and his environment. However, he also commented, but I've become stereotyped now. I like the idea of how Archie grew as the show went. Um, and I always loved how they, they exaggerated the bigotry and they exaggerated uh, Meathead's liberalness uh, to where they both look stupid. Um, and that's what was funny about it. Uh, would that fly today? Probably not, because everything, all this woke stuff is, you know, and everybody's getting canceled, and and you just can't laugh about stuff like that anymore, or, or they'll cancel you. I'll laugh about it all day long. I think that's funny. The Jeffersons are funny. Good Times is funny. Uh, Sanford and Sons, hilarious. But, uh, you know, what's wild is Carol O'Connor was uh, typecast. But he went on to play the uh, the chief in uh, in the heat of the night. Awesome! I mean, he's just totally awesome. I love that show, man. And he did such a great job. And you know what? People saw him as Gillespie on there. So he wasn't completely typecast. If you're a good enough actor, you can pull yourself out of that. That's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, Beverly Hillbilly Facts of Trivia and Classic Rock and Country Music Facts of Trivia off this weekend. Uh, be back on Monday. Uh, Andy Grippa Show Facts and Trivia is up and running. A pretty good one uh, over there on uh, people's questions about the show. And I did the research and answer them for them. Uh, if you're into that and you'd like that, go over there and check it out. The uh, link is in the description below. Below this. Uh, if you have a hard time getting there, there from there. There from there. Okay. Uh, then just hit me up in the comment section and ask me for the link and I will shoot it straight to you. You guys have a great day. God bless you. And I'll be praying for you.